of a new life. I'm not that So uh, we got our audio problem fixed. If you move one chord, your whole life changes. And so <laughs> here we are. Uh, goal by Whitefish Bay. Lulu Yarborough. Lulu Yarbrough, number 22. Gets yeah. a goal, and it's off the uh, the senior off the corner kick. Yeah, they had a corner kick, kind of rick almost curved in from the corner kick itself, and then it got bounced out and hit right back in by Yarbrough. Um, they've only had three shots on goal, but um, Kenzie Kleiss came in for uh, Alexis Atkinson here a little bit ago, so there was one sub. And so now if the Eagles, you know, you just go back to playing soccer, it's a yep. game. You start looking to connect feet, and here we go. There right you now. go. There you go. Through ball. She's got a chase. She's got a chase. There's a replay of it. Oh, she hit the pipe. Okay, but that's the kind of chances the Eagles need, and we're right back. Was, it was clean. Yep, that was McKenna, right? With the shot. Yep, McKenna Brynick. But that's got to give her a lot of confidence. So it was a great pass, threaded it right through, and she turned on the Jets, and she had a... <laughs> not going to get a lot of those chances this year. Right. No. Had the goalie Harvey, but on the ricochet, Kruger was able to come up with it, and remains one nothing. Twelve thirty left or spent here in the first half. Here's Greta. Ooh, little step over. And now we got a foot race. Nice come from the side and a great save by Apple. That was health that went in there with it. Great shot there, Jerry. We got the replay and the ball goes harmlessly out into the track. Great job by Apple. Greta got caught just a little flat-footed yep. there, and boy, you just one step and you're behind. A little push. Here's McKenna now working to turn the corner. She gets it done. Ooh, Going against Smith. Or not quite a fast turf caught her. Here's a throw in now. Three is uh line weaver. Yep. Line weaver, captain. Here's Brooklyn Kaufman working hard. Michaela. Faulkner. Aubrey got it up to oop. And we're going to get a throw. Looks like we got a substitute coming in. They're not going to bring her in. Yeah, it's a Whitefish Bay throw. throw so yep. can only sub on your throw. <laughs> or if the other team is subbing on their throw. Right. Looks like Alexa's going to come back in for somebody. Maya Schmidt working around the corner. Oh, oh, come thing. on. It's Hartwig, isn't it? Yeah. Yep, they're going to call that. Good. Oh, no, Hartwig's not playing this no, year. Kleist. Kleist. Okay. So Suck Prairie takes the 2-1 lead with that takedown. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's still 1-0. Credit lines up for the direct kick here off of that foul. And, and again, now here's one of these set pieces. Suck's got a fine foot, find a head, get that ball on the ground and make a play. Get through there. Instead, it touches two... <laughs> Whitefish Bay, but Lauren Uzeman crashes in. There she gets a nice pick. There you go. Yeah, There's like McKenna. It, that's a play over there from Lauren. Too. Go of, oh, I think that's a sock throw, and we're going to look at the replay on that. Yeah, I think. Ellery tries to play wide in the yep. middle. <laughs> nice job by Greta. Turns it around. Kate directs it. Oh, we got uh, what off. It must have been a foul called on the line jugger from the line jugger. Yep, pushing the back, I assume. Uh, and Sox going to walk it up into the 40 yard 35 line. 35 yard line or so, I think. No, he's pointing here at the 35. We'll see who's going to, Greta's going to walk up and that might be in range. <laughs> you know, if it's not in range to score, it's in range for that. To get that. To, uh, let's that get a rebound. rebound. Yep. And everybody's got to go to the ball. Right. Play as deep as they'll let you and break on the ball as soon as she puts a foot on it. And then just start throwing bodies out of the way till you find the ball, yeah. right? 
for guerrilla warfare here. Oh, and Greta gets a nice she, shot. She, she had our idea. <laughs> but everyone else missed the message. Right, but that's a ball you get one touch on in front of that, and that you've got an open goal. So I, I think that's the right play. I'll give her a shot on goal on that one. Yeah. It's, I, that's it's the right one, play. It? You'd like to see the girls the react second. a little better yeah. Yeah. to the ball, you yeah. know? Yeah. Once the ball is played, beat your man. They held the line pretty hard, though. They didn't. Yeah. I think it would have been. So for those of you who were saying that was a uh, penalty there, Greta did not intentionally kick that ball to Ellery, to Erlen, sorry. So Erlen was able to pick up that ball. It was not a pass to the goalie. Because someone out there was probably complaining. They can see it on the screen that they can't hear it. We, 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 we fixed it. It's good now. Yep. Should be good now. We'll check now, though. Yeah, I just, I, I had it on my phone. It's good. Yep. Sorry. Make sure they're on the, there's two feeds. There's two feeds, so make sure. Appreciate the uh, comments in the suggestion box. Yep. Fix your audio. Yep. yep. Duly noted. <laughs> and you know, it's one, it's always one chord. Yeah. <laughs> that's the last one you check. <laughs> And as we say, the highly played announcers of the Sock Prairie Sports Boosters, um, the tech team and the broadcast team, same fellows. Yeah. <laughs> try, try convincing Jerry to stay last night to be our tech support. But... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Here's a little run up from Whitefish Bay. Oh, she gets a second crack at it, but puts it harmlessly behind the net. We're calling goal kick here. Now we can sub. So that's going to be Alexis coming in for. Michaela. Michaela is going to come yeah, over. Michaela. McKenna is going to slide to the center midfielder. Attacking mid there, yep. And she immediately gets pushed in the back. Whitefish Bay in the 20-yard line. A little chin. Across. Ooh, and she got a past her. Alexis comes flying in to help but it's going to be oh we get a sock throw in oh. whoa 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 thank you sir good try though that was a good try <laughs> i always say grab it and throw it they might make you maybe you might get away with it yeah <laughs> so sock throw in lauren Uzelman's gonna throw it and it's... Off those... oh, no it's a sock throw in for sure jim horn that was right at jim horn there <laughs> Looks like another photographer. Or no, that ain't Jim. That's not Jim. That must be from Whitefish Bay, maybe. Could be the State Journal here today, too. That's true, too. Yeah, yeah the uh, the matchup should uh, draw a little attention. Yeah. McKenna Bryan yeah. here. She can get it. Controlling through the midfield. Yes. Now she needs to find a foot. Oh, well, she did, but... With a white... <laughs> white jersey. Bicycle. Oh, you know... Uh, Soccer's a game of angles, yeah. and the hardest pass to do is the one to the person directly in front of you because it has to be threaded perfect, and they almost have to slow down on their run. You know, as you start to make that angle pass, like Whitefish Bay did right there, it just that was a good give and go by Hector. Yeah, you get the Stevens. ball. You get the ball in a much better position to be moving and attacking versus right. having to wait for the ball to come to you. You can be yeah. making that next step and setting your defender up. Yep. So, Erlen's going to survey the field, and she's going to launch one. Alexa, oh, just well, off of a look. I think it's going to be sock ball. Should be yes. sock throwing, yep. That worked out all right. You got Lauren coming up to take it. Alexis kind of did the hoop to doop well, I'm not sure on the technical <laughs> chart there, Jerry. That might be you. Yeah. I, I never coached that move. Let's say, let's leave it like that. The back swipe will come. Ooh, ooh, that's that's nice there you go. Now that's a little better angle. That, it's a that, it's just, ooh. And just that, you know, that was the difference there. It wasn't the play right from behind. She just yep. gave her a little touch to the side. Yep. Atkinson at full speed, just unable to get there before the goalie. And sometimes the goalies would stay back a little bit and wouldn't necessarily come out yeah. that far. <clears throat> so now the punt fest continues. Back the other way. Brooklyn trying to win it. She gets it on the ground, but it's going to go to Whitefish Bay. That's Stevens, I believe. Line Weaver. Or Line Weaver. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Just out of bounds. Got a sock and Whitefish Bay substitutions here. So Whitefish Bay is going to sum one on defense. 
And they're going to so we've got Michaela them. coming in for in the offense. Looks like Nora Wilson's coming in on the defensive end, and, and we Kate, got Kate's coming in. Coming Zoe for... Adu is a sophomore. Got Lauren with the throw in there, going to. Oh, oh. Game is kind of starting to be played in the middle of the field here. Yeah, yeah I was going to say the possession has been kind of on Whitefish Bay's side, but Sox kind of taken the initial hit here and started to regroup themselves. 20 minutes in, we're 21 19. Clock runs up in soccer. Ooh, just a tough touch there by double A as the ball goes out of bounds. Smith going to fire it in. Lux uh, shot it to the middle, but nobody's. I like the idea. Sock Perry really had moved their whole formation over to the bleacher side. There was a little give and go. There was just nobody there to make that play. Here's Greta back there. Going to turn it up to the middle. And now we got to run. There we go. Well done. It's Michaela Pockner. Gets it over to Kenzie. Kleist, number 14. Kleist, she's a freshman. Yep. Good battle on the sideline. Going to stay Sock Prairie ball. Throw in. Alexa's Atkinson gonna with a chance, get a touch. She's going to put it on goal. It's a, it was a defender. Oh, she did a great <laughs> job. She, yeah. she juggled it and then it got it through her head and just settled it and stopped that advance by Sock Prairie. Here we go again nope. now. Go for some support. Supporter, supporter. Ooh, and she's tackled by hip first. Ooh, you got it. There you go, Lauren. Way to get there. Yeah, because you had Stevens running on the outside there. <laughs> yeah, that was. But it's got to clear this one. And she's just going to kick it to the student section. And over the fence. Time to reset the defense. And as you, you know, as you watch that play there, Sock had the ball in the end, and they just... Needed to get that extra pass. I think maybe play just a touch wider, spread out that middle, and get those runners in front of the goalie. And easy to say from up here, right? But if you know, those outside defenders can slide in and support that uh, that middle that has the ball, that gives you that one extra angle. But that also leaves you open on the backside, right? So that's that risk reward. Another. So Whitefish Bay brought in uh, Julia Dale a little bit ago, and now uh, we got Marin Alish yep. coming in. And Kate, I believe, number nine. Alexis Headers. Lauren Throw. Just going to... <laughs> yeah, we'll advance it. <laughs> That's that three yards in a cloud of dust from football, the other football. Right? I, was, yeah. I was thinking that looked like my golf game. <laughs> Michaela Ooh. tries to get it through yeah. ball. Try to get it to Alexis. She was going to make a run down through the middle. But the Eagles just keep gaining real estate here. Down to the 30 now. Here's McKenna. Can she win it? I like the patience. For oh, it's a beautiful Ooh. touch. Ooh. That's and the right. Eagles gain more. <laughs> now we're in that spot where you get the cross. You get that backside protection. Boy, we're really deep on this side. Yeah, I'd like us to be just get yeah. a little bit more set, balanced on the field. Is this our fourth first down in this drive? Yes. <laughs> Oh, look at that! <laughs> there you go, Lauren. That's a heck of a throw, by the way. way. Yeah. I mean, so, so great gymnastics on display here today. <laughs> Good work. Atkinson. Good work, Atkinson. Mary kind of just fell down. Here, we'll let you see that again. That was pretty fun. Oh, it's just off of our camera. Lauren, uh, or, or I did a crappy job of... Uh, oh, yeah, I, I think I had the wrong replay, sorry. Here's Atkinson. Atkinson. Maintains possession here. Gets Ooh, it to foot, foot, foot to foot. There, there She's got a one-on-one. -on -one. Oh. Hmm. The momentum took her. Now that's who's going to win to this? Get Lauren, that's a great touch. No, there we go. Turn, turn, turn. Okay. There we go. Oh, I got it. You take it. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> And then she's on the ground trying it's to be sock throw. Still sock throw. Boy, they, so the last Jerry uh, 
from like the 21 minute mark here the eagles have had about two to three minutes of possession down here yeah there's not any shots on goal though turn the tables here all right here we go again gymnastics on display she can do it again i love it get there get there, get there. shoot that oh she puts it it's a header now Bicycles. it's a fight for the ball yep yeah. oh. The, pro the problem right now is the ball is uh, in the air, <laughs> and it's hard to control, right? Yeah. You know, right. It's, it's that good juggle where you get the ball down to your feet. Whitefish substitution. Can't see what number that is. 13. 13. Flat, a lot of substitutions so far today. Emerson Mackey is coming in for Whitefish Bay. That is Early in the season, right? You want to get uh, fresh legs out here? Yeah. And they just played two nights ago, so... Did you see who came in for Sock? I did not. Another throw for Sock as they've maintained possession down here in the Whitefish Bay end. I guess this we, could be a corner kick. We got corner a corner Ferry. kick, Sock Prairie. Greta taking this one? No, it looks this like Kaufman's going to take it. It's be a right footed kick. No, that's right. And, uh, well, Greta did take these. I was going to say, she yeah. took them in this corner the other night. So, Whitefish think, Bay is back into the Greta goal. We're kind of lined up. On this one instead. Duh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's the run to the ball. The kick. It's in the air. Get in there. Got a chance. Nope. Oh, we just didn't get We just didn't get contact. That was a great, great kick. It was uh, came down right in that goal area. Yeah. Yep. Whitefish Bay just beat us to the ball. Davis tracking this down. Might be a chance to play to your goalie. Yep. Descenders were a little out of sequence there, right? So probably better to get that out and get everybody reset. Whitefish throw in. And now that kind of is that flip. Sock was thrown in right. at their 10-yard line. Now here's Whitefish Bay at their 10-yard line. Yep. 20, almost 28-minute mark here. It's been a nice battle. Uh, both early season, you know, kind of learning how to play with each other and uh, new new members. You know, you start getting freshmen playing with the seniors and stuff. And for those, their first couple of games. Oh, nice job, Brooklyn. It's uh, still playing. Oh, no, no. Late call, late call corner. <laughs> you know, and they, they get their first varsity match. I know I'm sure they played some uh, club ball and stuff. So they, they played at this level, but then. First time you walk onto the varsity field, that yeah. game speeds up, and Whitefish Bay makes it even faster. Yep. There's a Dale with the quick kick. Ooh. And that one harmlessly goes over the net. It'll be goal kick, Sock Prairie. Yeah, the audio sound is good now through, so... Thanks for everyone for sticking around. Crossed by Atkinson. Here we go, Thrones again. And I'd just like to see Sock, you know, kind of between the 20 and the 40, get a little bit jo better job of maintaining possession. We kind of start to get one on one play right here. We get Here's McKenna now. now. She's going to. That's a nice job. Oh, we see she's off sides. a nice try I, I like that mm -hmm. bring it wide and try and go right. back in All right it's see smith waiting on a ball here to throw it in no it'll be a kick after the offsides it's going to be taken by chevrony 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 there you go good and aggressive play yeah. yep now we got the throw yeah, Smith with the throw one. Eagles doing a nice job of marking. She don't really have a place oh, to go, and that's going to be, be a sock throwing. I say Brooklyn Kaufman's tight on uh, Zoe from uh, Whitefish Bay. It's almost like a yep. second uh, holding mid back there. Audrey Audrey Bickle's coming in from Marn. There's the throw from Lauren. Unable to connect. Whitefish Bay will bring it out and they'll 
change the side of the Looking to make a run there, yeah. But okay. there's Ava to hold it back in, and Whitefish Bay will come back the other way. Now they send a through ball. Greta should be able to find feet uh, on the wrong color. Great shoes. Oh, there we go. Oh, time, time, time. Take a look. There we go. Now we got to go win this one. Go, That's a through go. ball. Now it's a foot race. Here comes the goal. Goal is coming. <laughs> McKenna working hard. There you go. Still in. Still Eagles in. Eagles win the possession. McKenna's going to come back at the 30 ah. or 20. Now it's going to go back out, but the Eagles got the like feet now. now. Now we got to go win the ball again. It's tough. Win go, go, it's go. a carry that. Wind took it. Yeah. Or something. It's that wind behind her back. The flags are a little, uh, it's getting a little more angry. Or, yeah. Yeah. So, Kruger will line up. She's just a junior. <laughs> you could see Michaela shading her eyes on that one as the ball was up <laughs> in the sun. And Whitefish substitutions. Again, yeah, they're, they're using their bench. So, you know, Lauren had that advantage back when she used to play because she had her glasses that were shaded. So, on a day like today, Lauren's right. sports goggles yep. would come in handy. So we got Megan Gruber coming in and uh, Taylor Revere. And replacing Yarbrough and Smith there for him. I don't know if we talked about the coaches yet today. Um, Whitefish Bay is coached by Robbie Dubinsky. Eagles, of course, coached by Drew Cornish and Jacob Breinig. Okay. Davis centers out to... Uh, Alexis, uh, oh, just, just, the through ball again. That's out of the box. It's going to... And it's a throw-in? Should be a throw-in, I think. <laughs> the wind helped us again. That pushed us back. <laughs> was, that, was, that like, was that like the uh, punt that you try and get out at the one-yard line? Now you got them pinned deep. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. I mean, it's a tough, that's a tough place to throw from. Now it should be soft throwing. All right. All right. Sock gets the battle on that throw in. Warren's going to take it. She's got Michaela. She's got Michaela. If she comes backwards, there she is. 33 minute mark here. Right there in the middle. Ooh. Take that one. Yep. Should be goal kick now. Again, that ball was arcing too. You can yeah. see the wind's picked up here. Between that, I think it came off her foot a little different. Yeah. yeah. I think the direction's changed. I think we're a little more due east west now than we were yeah. at the start of the game. That was the one, Jerry, we always talk about keep your toe down. I think she her toe came up and the ball rolled yeah. off of it. Yep. Here's Faulkner in the middle of the field. So picks up possession. Apple gets it to McKenna. McKenna going to put it on that. that. Ooh. It's the, the pipe operate. again. <laughs> the McKenna can get a pipe from anywhere. <laughs> I'll watch that again. Yeah. It's so legal one to count it either. I can't even look off the face. <laughs> Accents on off the face. All right. Here's a play in the middle of the field. High bouncer. Who's going to win it? We're going to get a call in Sock Prairie with the foul. If I had a push or a hand, must have been a push. So did you guys watch the Iowa UConn yeah. game last night at all? Yeah, I watched that. I watched the end of it, like the last quarter and a half. And that was pretty good. That was a really good game. We were watching it. Caitlin Clark, uh, you know, had a ho hum twenty one point <laughs> nine rebound, seven assist game, and didn't play well. Yeah, yeah. I just think she didn't. <laughs> she didn't take any threes that I saw. Maybe one, but yeah, she was three out of eleven. Here's McKenna in the center of the field again. The Eagles just keep earning these throw-ins, and we just... Whitefish has kind of taken a page out of uh, our, our thought process there, right? Just push it out, get your defense reset. Sock just needs to maintain this possession. Kind of trying to turn the corner now. Should She's the hips turn. get a chance. It's not get in there. We got it's it's a bad spot. Ooh. McKenna again, rebound. Ooh. Ooh, just the defender. Kind of defender nice, with a nice screen. They get, they get the coffin, <laughs> get there first. She kind of sold out and just didn't quite get there. It was a step. 
There's Ava. Ooh, nice whoa. defense by Ava there. She beat her to the ball yeah. and got the defense a chance to set up. Now yeah. we got to get her marked. It's all clear to each other. Yeah, right. It's up on 36 minutes here in the first half. Well played first half. Not yeah. a lot of penalties. A couple of corner kicks for each team. So, two to one, right? So we got Kate Nicolay coming in for Dale. Oh, there's a nice mm -hmm. cross. Mm -hmm. Apple's going to let it go, and we'll get a goal kick out of that. That was a really nice cross. Yep. Yep, dangerous. And, and you know, the, the thing that made that dangerous was on the ground, right? Mm -hmm. And that's an easy one to run up right. and just get it changed direction. When they're bouncing, it's a much tougher play. I was watching Manchester City this morning, and it was just a one, two, three pass. That was it. And it was all on the ground, and it was in the goal. Similar. Brickle kind of overruns the defense there. Probably be chasing it down. Center of the field. And we there get it go. out there. I think and we can. And a ball we can. Can I just get it? it? Oh, oh, I just can't can get the way that yeah, the wind moved. <laughs> <laughs> Audrey was going faster and the ball kept gaining speed and started right. slowing down. Taylor oh. with a great ball header. I could see if we can get it. And just the number 17, Shevney gives ground, gets the ball. She changes the direction on the field. It was a nice. It's a one two shot there. Oh, that's deep, isn't it? And she, they're going to call us. It was out oh. when she hit it, but it was right there. Yeah. Atkinson. Whitefish substitution. Number 83 of the morning. Are you allowed 15? I think. <laughs> oh, wait. Wrong that's sport. Volleyball. Yeah. <laughs> Back in is number nine. Uh, Gonzalez. Good box out there by number 16. Oh, why? Oh. Puts it on goal, and oh. that's just a beautiful play. As you look at the replay here, just a beautiful center, and nothing Ireland could do about it. That was Line Weber? It was Line Weber. No, she. she oh. I don't know who scored it. I'm sorry. We can ask the whitefish bait people. Just ask them who scored. Whitefish bait goal score number two, Jacqueline Stevens. And the goal perception assisted by at least one point. Warren Usman trying to maintain possession here as Sock uh, tries to regroup after that second goal here late in the first half. Sock Caleb Pockner. Sock in a lot of nice pressure, you know, and then they just it kind of leaves that foot back from McKenna. There we go. McKenna on the run. Two defenders converge Ooh. and the they bounce it off. Yep. There we go. Eagles win that one. It's going to be a foot race for Apple. Settle down now. There you go. Nice McKenna move. now working the center of the field. Oh, dang. No one on the Yeah, I'd like side. to see someone on the, the side there to have her have an outlet pass. The Blue Dukes now change the field, and here comes that center of the field tack from health. Ava tries to clear, but uh, bounces right back into a whitefish. Be a throw in for the Blue Dukes. Seems like we're playing on this side of the field quite a bit. Don't you think it may help to crop, you know, change change sides a little bit? Or yeah, now here they're in the center of the field. Oh, that's a for rebound and a a throw in versus a corner kick. Yep. Yeah. That shot came right from the middle there, as you can see. Okay. 
I feel like Whitefish Bay has been a little more balanced on their attack. It seems like they can attack from mm-hmm. left or right. It seems like Sox really kind of been attack and center. Haven't been a lot of attack from that left side of the field. Right. But but at halftime, it's yep. 2 nothing Whitefish Bay as the Eagles head to the locker room to regroup. In a well-played first half, it saw Whitefish Bay score at the 10-27 mark and followed up with a goal by Stevens at the 37-54 mark. Shots on goal. Uh, Whitefish Bay's got six, and uh, we got two. So, That's at the first six. Change sides a little bit, but yeah, now here they're in the center of the field. Oh, that's the same. Just the rebound. They have a
We're back here on the Sock Prairie Sports Boosters broadcast network. Sock Prairie Trails, Whitefish Bay, Bay Blue Dukes, 2 nothing. as we come to the conclusion of halftime. And Sock Prairie played a really well-played half. Didn't Got one corner kick. The Blue Dukes had two. Six shots on goal for Whitefish Bay for one to Sock. And that one for Sock, Jerry, was the bell ringer. Hit the yep. pipe. Yeah, that would uh, really change the momentum of the game, I think. Sock stuck with them for the next 10 minutes or so, kept kind of equal possession, but about seven or eight minutes to go in the first half, you could just kind of feel Whitefish Bay's just momentum swinging, a little more um, possession, a little more tactical passing. Sock's kind of trying to just get it ahead and, and hope we get possession where Whitefish Bay is, is really working hard to maintain up that sideline put a couple of uh, promising runs though right the, the one we joked about where they had sock had four or five first downs we just would get four or five yards ball would go out of bounds we do another throw in and we just kind of methodically worked our way up had some opportunities there in the box but just couldn't uh, get that shot off um but uh, 40 minutes to play here uh this is the kind of competition you want though this is how you get better um certainly uh, opportunities for sock and uh look to turn that corner here in the second half, I think all the, well, all the goals were to the goalie. Let's go with that. Um, so we'll have that opportunity here in the second half. And we'll be going into the win just a little bit. Certainly was playing a factor. We're seeing that uh, east to west wind has uh, affected a couple of the passes and shots from Sauk Prairie here. So I'd like to remind everybody, the uh, Sock Prairie Sports Boosters uh, are thankful for our wonderful sponsors. We have state champion sponsors, Green RX, Kramer Brothers, and Prem Meats. And the sectional champion sponsors are Mystic Valley Dairy, Dorf House, and there's one more. And then we also have some uh, regional sponsors, uh, Village Family Dental, McGreeth Orthodontics, and Andrus Insurance. Among others, we'll get our list here together and we'll give everybody a shout out. Also, JDH Auto is a sectional sponsor. And we thank them for their support. Gives us the opportunity to bring you this wonderful broadcast. Give these kids a stage to show their skills. So Whitefish Bay is going to start the second half on the kickoff. Referee is going to check with the goalies and see if they're ready to go. And I do see the uh, the Whitefish Bay goalie shade in her eyes. It's a, it's a thing. Yeah, I'd like to see the Eagles maybe get a couple in the air over by her now. Whitefish Bay kicks off and we're underway. So they're going to carry it in here early, get it down into their end. Greta doing some battle there. Greta wins it, gets it out. Good use of the shoulder. And, you know, one of the things... Uh, when you play at this level, physicality is one of the things. You can't be afraid of contact. You can't be afraid to to lean into people. You know, and that's not saying you're vicious and you're you know you're playing illegal soccer, but you just have to step in there and it's a contact sport. Yeah, it is. So a throw in coming up here for the Blue Dukes, and they got a chance here in the middle. Looking to make a cross, gets a foot on it. It's going to go into the, the cross hey, goal, and that missed, doesn't yeah. count. And, and missed the, the camera. camera. And missed the camera. <laughs> <laughs> so Erlen will play it out on the ground this time because it's a goal kick. That's a through ball. Let's see if Alexis oh, well, Alexis gets that looks knocked like to the ground, and that'll get the whistle, and Eagles will get a free kick. <laughs> So that's the opposite of just playing physical. <laughs> right. 
You crossed the line. Yeah. Greta's going to set that one up on the 50 here. So now she is playing into the wind. So let's see if they're giving us the 42. Hmm. Oh, no. Pick your spot. Just kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Left footer going to try and bend it back into the wind here a little bit. It's a nice ball. Yep. Oh, that's not a bad Got spot there. A couple of kicks up in the air. No, we didn't use her body. Good yeah. job, Lauren. <laughs> no, she got it wrong. She didn't fall, but she just got in the way. Got in the way, and because it prevented her from the, the opponent from getting to the ball. That was yep. that was a good defensive play. Yep, beat her to the spot. Yeah, you there know. You so Whitefish Bay now has started, and all of a sudden they're attacking on the left side of the field. Could have made a pretty tough angle there for the mm -hmm. Blue Dukes. Ellie with a or Erlen with a pretty easy save. Kelf is just a freshman out there, number 16. Boy, she's got some wheels. He just kind of looks like the Energizer Bunny, the way she's moving out there. Headed into the ground. Now they get control on this side. That's Taylor Revere. Oh, we got to the ball. Get the Ava, ball, yeah. Kate or Ava should have maybe. Kayla's on the ground. Yeah. Eagles with the throw in now. Ava going to make the throw, and she gets it to Michaela. Back to Ava. She'll... Trying to get ahead to Alexis, Alexis there. Yeah. Audrey gets it. Settle it down. Now. Give her, oh, there's, there's a nice ball, and it's going to be a race to the corner. I'm back against. That may be our ball. Oh, yeah, yeah, they're calling us. White Whitefish, Whitefish Bay grabs it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. the center ref called with Whitefish Bay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Throw in. Overruled the line, George. I, yeah. I guess he thought being 30 yards was better than being 60 <laughs> yards away. <Yeah. laughs> Can't argue, I guess. <laughs> hey, but the Eagles win back possession. Here's Michaela. Oh, and that's just a head to head with uh, Fear Day. Brooklyn Kaufman again, uh, putting her nose right in there. Michaela, Michaela looking to get. Oh, should he get right back to her to get send it, maybe? Send with Greta. Audrey Brinkle trying to cap, get uh, back in the play here. Someone might need to stop the ball before they get to the box. Yeah. Ooh, got you just setting them up. This is Weinberg. Yeah. Ooh, nice stop on Erlen. Got a rebound. And that one's going to be out. And it'll be a corner kick for the Blue Dukes, third one of the game. And we just didn't stop the ball on that possession. Wow. She just, Line Weber just kind of dipsy dude through the. Eagle defense and got a shot on goal. Corner oh, kick. Left footed corner kick. And that's mm. going to hit the back of the net. And I think that wind was a point yeah, there. Say. <clears throat> Coming out of the locker room, the Eagles just haven't generated a lot of momentum yet. I like to see us try and keep possession rather than just uh, clearing from the defensive court or third. Here's, Here's an opportunity. Yeah, no. yep. See, they came up and stopped it. So Audrey, good take through. down. Wow. Not a good take down, apparently. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think you get awarded the two points for that one. You know, as the season goes on, guys, the, the Eagles will start to, you know, for lack of a better word, get in sync. Mm -hmm. And when Greta's making that pass to the middle of the field, so somebody, be somebody, somebody there. needs to run to that spot. And they kind of got to trust that they know where she's going to put it. And she's going to trust that they're there. And that's what all those hours of practice, mm -hmm. I think, uh, lead to. And here's a cross. Going to get out of bounds. Okay, there we go. There it's going to get a throw in. Overplay there by the goalie. I mean, the wind helped us out on that. Everyone's in agreement. We're going to give Sock the throw in. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That's everyone up here, at least. Yeah. Oh, here's a chance in the middle of the field now. Oh, I that Audrey. 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 Oh, boy, a nice tackle by Weinleffer. That's yeah. just. You got to just be, be a little more selfish there and just put one on goal, I think. That's not okay. a bad ball. Here, you Kate. Use there your body. You Use your body. And that's out of bounds. Should be sock throwing, yep. Emerson Matkey, the defender, sophomore for Whitefish Bay. Throwing it. Atkinson gets it. Good 
Apple's going to come out with it. She's going to drop it to Greta. I'll make that. See, and there's the difference. Yeah, that one was right to her. Yep. yep. And now we got a chance to have possession. There's a drop got back there for her. She's got a no yep. woman's back there too. Yeah, got to be calling for that. Yeah. She beats her to the corner. Here's a chance. Oh. Kate still got possession. Nice push in the back. Oh. Let's get there, Ava. Nice going going right. Ava. Eagles hold the zone. Valerie. Michaela yeah, outside. Yeah, there you Kate. Go. Look for a cross here. There it is. Oh. Alexis was loading the gun, but she didn't have the ball. <laughs> <laughs> nice job. There you go. Ellery. Ellery to Kate. Goes. Michaela now going to take it to the corner. She's going to turn. Kate, go to the middle. Going to put it on net. Put that goal. Okay, here we go. Eagles, little two-man game in the corner. Throw in for Saw. Yep. Hockner and Heimbeck working hard in the corner. Michaela's going to take it. Got a sub coming in. It's Kenzie Clay's coming in for Alexis. Yep. It's Clay. Place is Atkins. So Michaela's setting up shop and top of the E here. She's going to run towards the ball. Michaela trying to get it to Ooh, her. We got her through. Ooh. That's out of bounds. Out of Should be Sock Prairie ball. Yep. Sock's going to get another throw in in their offensive end. This time Apple's going to take the throw. Out of bounds, sock again. Yeah. I don't know if that was off of sock, actually. We didn't have a very good angle done. <laughs> it's not. It's McKenna. Walking it across. She's got a chance for Brickle. Brickle's got a chance Shoot to that. put it on net. Ooh. All right. Stays. 2 nothing, Whitefish Bay, 48 minutes gone in Put the game. some positive pressure here by Sock yeah. here in the last five minutes, just yeah, we, holding we, that we, possession, we, we looking for said, some shots. That first four minutes didn't feel like we right. were kind of on our heels, just like the, the game started off. I was going to say, just like the start of the game there, yeah. And then we kind of catch our bearings, and now we start to possess the ball a little bit. Here comes Michaela, got a chance. Send it, send it. That's Look. not a bad idea. No. I told Jeff Wright that this post is really in a bad spot yeah. for us broadcasters because yeah. I can't figure out <laughs> which side I'm supposed to stand on. It's fine when the ball's on the north end for me. <laughs> South end for me, though, those corners. Yeah. So, cleared out by Whitefish Bay, and that's going to go Whitefish Bay. You now. probably could set up down on the track, you know. Yeah, right. <laughs> Let it warm up first. Uh, yeah, well, I'd see the numbers better. That's true, too. That was Mackie taking the throw in for Whitefish Bay. Good pressure. Oh, that's a nice shot on goal from Stevens. Just kind of side chipped with the side of her foot and put it right on Apple. Apple may be able to make the save. Yeah, now she's kicking into the wind, so it's not going as far as it was in the first half. All right, it's bouncing twice before it gets to anybody. All right. So we haven't talked about this yet today. Oh, no, no, no. uh, oh, Kenzie. And I always get it messed up on what we're supposed to call it, but the points of per division getting put mm, in different divisions. The, um, the yeah, success success factor factor whatever. Yeah. yeah. So I was talking to Josh this morning because Brad and I were talking about that last night. So if Whitefish Bay keeps up their domination, you know, next year there'll be a D one, right? Yes. I th well, it's they've six. already scored enough that this next. Season they should already right because they've won the season they, we're in. No, no, next everything season. takes effect. Yeah, next, next year. fall. Yeah, come yeah. On, Kate. but it's a come three to look back. Yeah, yeah. I think they already have six points. Right, right. Yeah. yeah, so they're gonna be. They're yeah. going to be. Yeah, yeah. So it's six points, and it's uh, what is it? Uh, is it three for state championship or four? And then it's two, and then one for I think four state. to win, three to be in a and two, state championship, two, two to be qualify. a qualifier, and one to be. Yep. At the sectional final. Yep. So if this were the, if it were to take effect this year, Sock would actually have been bumped up. We have right. six points okay. looking backwards yep. before this year. So if Sock were to return, make to, state. to return to state, we would be Division One the following year. Okay. Now you're saying volleyball gets bumped up, I think, this year because of just a enrollment. 
Yeah, that's, that's that's what we're I mean, it, hearing. That's what we're being told. But that's all. Oh, here's but, a nice through ball by. Get the mechanic. Get the mechanic. Mechan Who's mechan backside? Who's back? Can she set help? her up? Nobody's there yet. Oh, Ooh. tries to take her down. She oh. Oh. double teamed. Yep. Didn't have any help there for them to. Oh, Ellery puts it back for Kate. Maybe you like to see her just settle it. Yeah, I don't even. Carolyn right there should have made it settle it a little There, bit. that's a better pass. Find it, Audrey. Audrey unable to handle it, though. Back to that success factor, though. I think, yes, the sock got, for volleyball, sock got moved up. Um, but that wasn't because of that. That was an enrollment, he said. It was an enrollment. The Here numbers I have show Stoughton being one or two students bigger, but still Division Two. Okay. Yeah. But bigger. Well, he <laughs> he was saying actually Stoughton went down. So, but yeah, but they still might be bigger if they're just two ahead of us. Man. Yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Suffice it to say, Sock was right on the border. Oh, really? <laughs> but with that, um, there are eight teams that qualify for state in Division One. Yep. In, versus, versus four. Sure. Um, Oh, we got a but line that, change coming up here. But so, that sectional that includes Wanakee and Verona and Middleton. So it's a different group of teams that we'd be playing. Uh, McFarland did get bumped up because of the success factor, but they're in a different sectional. Okay. Okay. Back to soccer action. I couldn't uh, catch all of the four come in, so I didn't, didn't catch all of them. But Yarbrough came back in, I know. 53-21, time on the clock right now. Michaela tries oh. to run. But she almost wrapped it around her yeah, back right. shoulder. Right. She looked over her left shoulder, and the ball was coming around to her right foot. So A couple subs here for Sock Prairie. Kenzie's coming out. Alexa and Mar uh, Kate's geez. coming out. Leah. Leah's coming in. Leah and Alan. Some fresh legs for Kate. She's been hustling up and down. See how deep McKenna Brining's uh, gas tank is. She's been hustling up there quite a bit. Yeah. Greta tries to settle it. Got two over here on the side. Leah Allen just in. She had a nice goal scored the other night. Yes. Late. <clears throat> Sophomore. Up fly, sales foul. <laughs> When's the next softball broadcast done? It's a good question. I know we got like three games next week because of reschedules, but I know we got one on Monday. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that one, but I got to look at my schedule. So I'll let you guys know. Just pay attention to the Sock Prairie Sports Boosters. Get you a subscription to the YouTube channel and. When the sports go live, you'll be there watching. Really good battle for the ball here. Yep. Now is a cross. Oh. The second line of defense. Yep. The Shadwald's there to knock it away. The, the sweeper. Fine feet. There's no one there. A little anxious to get rid of the ball there. Maybe we had uh, 20 yards of green grass. We probably could have got another touch. Yeah, and I, I think that's what Sock needs to work on a little bit as we start the season here. They're they're trying to beat people one on one. You know, the, you can pass the ball faster than you can run, and if you just keep space, you start to get the defenders with their heads on the swivel and get them out of out of space. If you hold the ball, they all converge on you, and it makes that tighty, tighter passing lane, just like yep. that right there. You know, mm -hmm. she held the ball a little long. Good to Michaela. Michaela. Was able... Yep, she's blocking her just so she gets thrown. Good job Good for the Eagles. Mm -hmm. Michaela been a starter on varsity or player at least since she's a freshman, so she played a lot of soccer on this field. Yeah, yeah. A little pushing going on there. Oh, and that's got to be wow. Hmm. The girl dragged it out. The other thing I noticed Good about job, Ava. Whitefish Bay is they're really good at grabbing the ball and making the ref take it away from them. Yeah, right. It's theirs until told otherwise. I don't know. It should be ours. Okay, here's Ava. Now she's going to get a throw back the other way. 
She finds Michaela. Michaela with a nice touch. A little give and go. Sells the ball. Hmm. That still should. Ooh, I think it came off of Michaela's foot and then off of 22, but. Good job, bro. Well, returns. Touch from Burkenna. Oh, you got to nice lead, 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 lead it. There, there you go. go. Come on, Alexis. Alexis, come on. Ooh. Took... Almost slowed down. Well, she kind of went on the inside of her. Yeah. After she touched it. But... Foot race for Greta and Lauren. Here's Stevens in the middle of the field now. She's going to shoot it. Delay, delay, delay. Let the defense get here, but yeah. we're kind of walking. Yeah. Gets it back in the shooting range. She there you go. harmlessly puts it on net. That was health to Stevens, but Apple's able to secure the rebound or the shot. No rebound. And now she'll punt it away into the wind. That's a better one. I see that went off of us, I think. Yeah. Ava tries to get there, but unable to keep it in bounds. Throw in now for. Matt Key. Looks like a sub coming in. Two of them. Sock sub coming in too. Number nine for Whitefish Bay, which is Gonzalez. That's Brickle again for yeah, Sock. Aubrey coming back in. Or Audrey. It's cool. Nice play by 15 mm -hmm. by Whitefish Bay. She's going to get right at the corner, but it was going to be a goal kick. Yeah, we'd like to thank our sponsors here um, for the Sports Boosters. we got Green RX as a state champion, Kramer Brothers, and Prem Meats. Um, as of uh, sectional champions, we got Mystic Valley Dairy, JDH Auto, Dwarf Hall Supper Club. And as regional champion level, we got Enders, Enders Insurance, McGreeth Orthodontist, Trending Now Promotions, Village Family Dental, uh, Meyer Insurance, Consumer Co-op, uh, Lake Ridge Bank, Green Acres, and McFarland's. I'd like to thank all those sponsors. Apple with the save. Shots on goal right now are... 10 to 2. 10 to 2. Three corner kicks to one. The Sox, Sox played well. We just haven't got shots on goal. Right. It's kind of a interesting part about soccer. You got to shoot on goal to get a goal. Yeah. <laughs> Here comes Ooh. Lee Weber into the center of the field. And she's looking to put it on goal. Ooh. Trying to hit the camera. Another yeah. cross goal. So spring sports season, we've got track, we've got baseball, we've got softball, we've got boys lacrosse, girls soccer, boys tennis. Anything else? I think that covers it. Golf. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. Big golf team this year. Come on out here. 22 kids on the golf team. Fantastic. And we're going to give you hole by hole cover. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, friends. <laughs> As we turn to the back nine. Oh, ooh. play on. Nice tackle by Greta. We need a lot of volunteers for that. Strong Wi Fi, too. Yeah. <clears throat> but we're going to call a yellow on. Greta, or do they red card her? She's being asked to move, to be removed. Is it Greta or is it Brooklyn? It's Brooklyn, I think. Okay. 18. Yeah, Greta's standing in front oh, of yeah. her. Okay. But they subbed in, so it wasn't a red card. Maybe she's got blood. Or it's a yellow and she's got to go out for the next possession. Could be. Yeah. High school soccer, if you go out. The yellow, you have to sub out, yeah. Yeah, or but the, she did go to the trainer's table, so yeah, I bet you she's got it. And they're not setting up for now a direct it's coming kick. over to talk to us. Go, go you got it. 
60 minutes even. The clock is going to be reset. Yeah, the clock should have stopped there for the injury. I guess not an injury, a cut or whatever it was. <laughs> it was medical, not misconduct. There you go. <laughs> All right, so we restart. We're at 60 minutes. Whitefish Bay remains up 2-0. Looks like it's going to be a goal kick. They were asking for a corner kick. but So Erilyn pulls a ball out of her stash behind the goal, and she's going to start it. She's going to go right this time. Brooklyn's still work, getting work done. Get there, Greta. There you go, Greta. Take one more touch. Ooh, ooh and that's a shot. Wide right, though. Yeah, that one's going to end up down in uh, Mazo. Mazo. <laughs> <laughs> so this time she'll start it again now the wind's right out of the east it looks like so alan gonna try and win it boy that girl's right on her back no nope. there you go ava Ooh. right idea yep. we kind of had a really good setup coming that time and the ball just a little bit too diagonal got out of bounds Wind probably helped that a bit. Yeah. Boy, she walks it in again. She walks right through there. Oh, oh, had her on the backside. Great job. Recover, 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 recover. clear, clear. There. And the Eagles are able to clear. Oh, a lot going on in that possession. Well, it's going to be a goal kick again. Okay, the battery was low, but I had my battery pack in there. No, it wasn't you. It was me. Oh, the lost, gotcha. lost the web connection. Gotcha, <laughs> gotcha. So Eagles now in the middle of the field. What's up, Marin? Number yeah. seven. Yep, yep. Marin Alish. Ava now working hard. She oh, be. here's a turnover chance for the Eagles. Go, go. Kind of a 50-50 ball. Kayla's going hard at it. She's going to drop it to her goalie. Goalie's going to send it back out. Can we win it? Get there. Hustle, hustle. I got one. Right. Aubrey. Aubrey. Boy, you need yeah. just one of those. That bouncing ball makes it tough to settle, and that skill to get that ball on the ground and just get possession is really important. Yep. Especially on turf like this, if there's yeah. natural grass, it's not quite as bad, but well, usually. Yeah, the grass kind of takes that natural bounce out of it. Here she goes to the goal line. Unable to get there to be goal kick Sock Prairie. Oh, we got a line change coming here. And Kaufman, Heinbach, and Apple coming back in. McKenna going to go out here to the left yeah. side. Leah came, Leah came out. And Cora. Ooh, that'll be a foul. Not on purpose, but just reaching for the ball and yep. Yep. the knee got in the way first. So it'll be a free kick from the 40 yard line for the Blue Dukes, who lead 2 0. She lets the clock slowly tick away. Yeah. <laughs> Taking her time, that's for sure. And now she puts her hand up and starts the play, and she sends it to the middle of the field. Eagle's able to get possession for a second. But now it's going back the other way. Here's a cross into the middle. Ooh. Grayson Duncern was... The girl making the cross. So it picks up a little possession. Talk, guys, here. talk. You're good. We blocked ourselves. Yep. Yeah. Tough hop there. Didn't stay. I thought it was going to go out of bounds. Now it does. Yeah. And it'll be a whitefish bay throw in. And they're going to sub. 
I imagine their outside mid on the far side will be subbed a lot in the next 20 minutes. That's yes. Macy Lococo. Lo Easy for you to say. Yeah. Lococo, there we go. Yeah. Wait for Sawyer there. Sawyer's got it. <laughs> and here comes the throw in. Pop up. A little bit of danger there. But as it's bouncing, it was just hard for Whitefish Bay to get possession. Here's number one now. The Coco mm. loses the ball to Kaufman. Kaufman's going to send it out. Must have been too uh, significant of a medical issue. Brooklyn's back in. Yeah. And maybe, like you say, maybe it's just like a knee slash or something. Yep. Just a flesh wound. Turf burn. Oh, nice job. And right the whitefish did not play. take her down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and she just did a really good job of, you know, not pushing, but using her elbow to make space for her feet. Yeah. Oh, it's coming in now. Kenzie Clay's coming back in. I'd really like some socks very here in the next five minutes. Just get a possession. Don't don't take that, you know, easy dump of the ball, but let's try and build fine mm -hmm. feet, get mm -hmm. the ball. Maintain possession and just build a, a strong formation up into your end. You know, we get that first goal and make it feel a little better that, you know, they played well, but not. Some opportunities here. Yeah. There's McKenna now in the center of the field. And she's got Michaela there. Michaela going to try. Yeah. Oh, just extra defender coming there. It was really hard to get her the ball quick. Let's go, girls. There's a throw in from Kate. It's going to drop it to Michaela. <laughs> They're going to call an illegal throw on that. Didn't uh, really go over her head. And you can see the frustration on her face after that. Eagle's able to get the possession back, though. You can't let the last play affect the next play. Here we go again. Well, she'll get another chance to practice. This one's good. Into McKenna. McKenna. Kind of Turn to the, the corner. corner. Oh. oh! Hey, pretty good chance for the Eagles right there. Coming in from that the backside. Ken Kenzie Clice. Yes. Yeah. Didn't get a shot on goal, but it was no. a nice play. McKenna got that corner turned, and she was able to get the ball up in the air right in front of the goalie. And that's kind of what it takes against you know, you, you got to get the goalie going one way and put the mm -hmm. ball back the other way. Yep. Oh, here we go. Michaela now winning the play. Nice dump nice. inside. Get there. There you go. Right to the outside. Can she get there? Yeah. Oh, and we're going to get a goal kick. A few more connections yeah. here in the right. last minute. We were making some foot-to-foot -foot passes. Yep. Plus 50-50 balls and more purposeful. Yeah. Coming up on 68 minutes here in the second half. Yeah, you can't just kick it and hope. Hope's not a strategy. No. In soccer or retirement. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> so who were our sponsors again? That would have been a great lead. Come on, guys. I was a little slow on that. Yeah. So Whitefish Bay now bringing it down, going to kick it out of bounds. Sock will get a throw in. There we call Silverleaf and just say, hey, we got to fill in sponsorship <laughs> for you. Straight the check. Oh, Eagle's going to win the ball. McKenna got a chance now. She's going to bring it to center of the Ooh, field. Miss kick. Good there. Whitefish Bay there to clean it up, and they're going to build now coming in here from the right side. Oh, hard. Here's the wind from Sock Prairie. Blown it to our advantage. Lokako unable to run it down. She's just a freshman. Yeah, several freshmen on that yeah, Whitefish like Bay roster. Looks like there's four there, a couple yeah, soft. We're going to get a push in the back. Eagle's going to gain a free kick here. Greta's going to walk it up, and let's see if we can connect to some feet here. Yeah, let's see a... We do like the barn door here. We get everybody moving in the same direction. Mm -hmm. Nice kick. There. Oh, we'll get there. 
Oh, that's a nice push in the back. Yeah, yeah right. Boy, that's a nice play there. Yeah. Just Little possession oriented. And then they just drop it to the defender, yeah. get that extra pass, make should, another foot to foot pass. They almost should have maybe went back one more again. And then they get the cross and they connect on the cross. And here comes Lacoco. But what do I know? Your head. <laughs> oh, and she's going to have a chance on shot. Nice job by oh, Apple. Yeah. But they are in the corner kick, and it's always a scary time when they take a corner kick because they really attack the net well. And the wind's behind her, so it's gonna chances are look for this one to be up kind of high and just kind of lob in. Good news is Lacoco's in the middle, and she's the shortest player on the field. <laughs> Ooh, nice. oh, Apple snatches it out of the air. Yep. Don't give him the chance. Yep. So just under 10 minutes to play. Sock trails 2 nothing. Shielding their eyes now. Gonna run through that. Yeah, Mackie there with the throwing coming up. And substitutions. What do we got there? Number nine, I believe. <laughs> The last girl didn't even get to the call. <laughs> yeah, number 16 and number three. So, <laughs> Line Weber's coming back in. Hef. And what did I say? Number nine, Gonzalez. And subs on the far side of the field. Yeah. Take a little extra time off. <clears throat> Good work by Michaela. Good idea to get in ahead for a. Clay Kenzie, yep. Yeah. Brickle playing hard, wins it back. Kleist gets it's it. Freshman now. working together there. Still working. Now she sends it through. But boy, nice job by the defense that time to shield McKenna. She just keepers out. What if anyone can put that one on? And we have a swirling wind here in the press yeah. box. <laughs> What'd I say? Wasn't it coming out of the east? <laughs> I guess not. It's coming out of the middle now. <laughs> Another throw in coming up for Whitefish Bay. Waiting for the late substitution to come in from Whitefish. Got time. What do we got here? The referee is going to go talk to somebody. Talking to Gonzalez there for something. I'll let her know about the great uh, lunch specials at our sponsors. On the rocks. There you go. Oh, it closes, takes one in the back. And oh, oh, wind, corner. Kick. wind gave it a corner kick. It was rolling, and you know, the slope of the field's got a little bit because I didn't think that was going to make it, and it just kept cutting. Nope. All right, so Eagles got to win this one. I'm going to do the short kick here. And then Line center. Weber's going to get the short kick. She's going to get past, gets it centered. Whitefish maintains Ooh, possession, wants... gets a shot in. Ricochets. Still maintain. Now That's Line Weber in the middle. Yep. Another shot coming, and this, this one looks a little long. Well, that might be camera. <laughs> yeah, this is <laughs> the camera. For all your uh, small equipment needs, please see our sponsors. Quiet. <laughs> Marin coming in or Marin coming in for Kleist. Brickle. Hockner trying to win it. Giving the ride for McKenna. It's going to be played Jayden back to the goal. There. 
Ooh, that was a mistake. Didn't come off her foot, yep. right? No. Like, but they're able to run it down, keep it in bounds, and they're able to find somebody. Boy, that's a great pass. Yep. Kaufman. Yep. yep. Good touch. Way to get it out. We set so the defense. You do. In the middle of the field, boy, that's a great. That's like a thirty-yard yeah. pass on right. the ground, right to her foot. That's probably. Well, they're going to call it off the back foot of Whitefish Bay. Hmm. Center ref must have saw something different. Whitefish maintains possession. And they're quick. Oh, she just carried geez. that all the way in. Yeah. That was uh, health with the goal. Yep. I think almost unassisted. Yeah, I would call it that. Here, we'll look at the re. Here comes Lococo. Go in, honey. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, and she's going to have a chance on shot. Nice job oh, by Apple. Yep. This is Just no, in no hurry, right? Just patiently working her way through the middle. No one really defended and stopped the ball. We had a lot of space in the right. defensive backfield. We, there was other players there that we were guarding, just didn't stop the ball. Right. Yep. yep. Unfortunately, we got to click the clicker to three in the goal. Yep. Get there. Here. And that last, kind of this last, you know, since like that 60 minute mark, Eagles have kind of been on their heels. We haven't really had a lot of pressure in the front end. I don't know if they looked a little tired or just play more defensive. There's Greta going to step up now and she's going to launch one up. There's... See if Kate can run it down, bicycle it in. <laughs> Good try. <laughs> and white fish okay. substitution. It's number 11. Gruber, Megan Gruber coming in. He wanted the clock stop for Line Weber. So the referees caught on to the game. Yeah. <laughs> oh. We're gonna let's get wide and take her out. She's little. Yeah, right. Fast though. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Bodies everywhere. Oh, they called it on Lococo. Yeah, well, she did run up the back. Yep. <laughs> Not intentional, but uh, right. you got to see that the other players got the angle. Well, we got four minutes to go, guys. Uh, Eagles have played a nice game against the number one ranked team in the state. Give yeah, you can one see, goal here in the second half. You can see the skill that uh, Whitefish Bay brings to the table here. Yep. Oh, Kate, Kate, nice Kate coming in. You got Kayla backside. Kayla, come on. Whitefish Bay brings to the table here. Yep. Oh, Connect. So goal kick. And that was a nice chance for the Eagles. And you'll score, you know, you'll score on those several mm -hmm. times this year. That right. Oh. And thought that one might get like go loud, but and now the slow play of the penalty kick. Tick, 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 tick. Oh, let's back it up five more feet. <laughs> and let's kick it back. Whitefish Pay just content to let the clock keep running here. Yeah, about two and a half. Not quite two and a half minutes left. Just carrying up the field. We need to get... Uh... Possession back here. It's a good flop. Kaufman kicks it out, and it'll be a throw in for Whitefish Bay with two minutes to go. You got to stop the anymore. clock. As the uh, the referee is now stopping the clock for the Whitefish Bay substitutions. Megan Gruber coming back in. 
For health. All right, Eagles All right. got a chance now if they can find a foot. Yeah. A little two on one action here in the middle. Michaela is able to win it. Scott Brickle just leads her a touch too far. Lacoco has it now, and she goes flying into the turd again. <laughs> Yarborough content to just kind of maintain possession here. It's just over a minute to go. I'd say in the last 10 minutes, what's been really impressive about Whitefish Bay is uh, just their ability to connect feet and make foot to foot passes. They're patient, they're not trying to hurry. They act like they've been here before. Yeah. But they haven't. This is the first time they've ever been to Sock Prayer. <laughs> it's a shame. <laughs> but they do act like they own the place. No, it's uh no. it's been a it's been a competitive match, really good preseason, not preseason, but non conference battle. And I know when Coach Cornish took over the program is it four years ago now, uh one one of the things that he decided was our schedule wasn't setting the girls up for postseason so we're not afraid to lose a few games early in the season right. at this high level played river falls played hudson playing these really good non-conference teams to get better because it matters when you get to may and with that the blue dukes are going to be victorious today as they come to sock prairie and they win three Upcoming schedule here for the Sauk Prairie uh, girls. We've got Medicine Memorial coming up uh, as well as Stoughton next week. So a couple on the road uh, should be uh, some decent challenges there for us. Uh, so excited to uh, see what the next games come up with. Um, as sure. the season uh, games at home or on the road? Those are both on the road, as best I can tell, from this really small font. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. So uh, pay attention to the schedule, and we'll get you guys uh, watch the sports boosters. Yeah, soccer's Tuesday night at Stoughton, it looks like. Uh, Thursday, they're probably at Madison Memorial. At Madison Thursday. Memorial, yep. Okay. Well, with that, that'll be our game broadcast today, the uh, Whitefish Bay with goals by... Yarborough Stevens and Hef. Hef. The first goal is at 1027, followed up by 3754 for Stevens. And then here in the second half at 7442, Health with a goal. And that's your final margin. Uh, shots on goal 11 to 2 in favor of Whitefish Bay. And corner kicks 5 to 1 in favor of Whitefish Bay. So, Sock Prairie a loser. They'll go to 1 and 1 on the season. Thank you for listening to the Sock Prairie Sports Boosters broadcast of Sock Prairie Sports and Sock Prairie Girls Soccer. So long, everybody. Enjoy the rest of